truth, if you are part of the elect, if you know who you are, I want to make this available to you. The whole thing. And that's not that we'll, we'll somehow monetize that. We want to give you that portion of it. So we'll have an affiliate system here that if, if we can help you maintain your channel and have you focus not that portion of it, so we'll have an affiliate system here that if, if we can help you maintain, you know who you are. I want to make this available to you. The whole thing. And that's not, that we'll, we'll somehow monetize that. We want to give you that portion of it. So we'll have an affiliate system here that if, if we can help you maintain your channel, and have you focus not on your job if you got an outside job because that's going to go away unless you're going to be Today's taking January a job. Fifth. We want to be able to make sure that you can stay Twenty twenty one. So the little bit that is in here, the, it's it's intended so you be able to utilize this, and I can replicate this, and we can have multiple versions of this social site, but all have the ability to interact with one another. But yet you can have, you know, uh, Jacob so, Israel's so far I've heard. On there. So far, I've heard what Derek Bros. Affiliate. Mentioned that 9-11. All we know is it's not going to be the same. Every single day since this began, each day, nothing was going to be the same. So it's kind of like 9-11 when they said nothing see, will be the same. See, no. see. And that's the whole point. See. And that's the whole objective of this. And I want to... Uh, um, I want to kind of bring in some things into this a little later. I have some announcements affiliate. and I'm going to be demonstrating some of the critical components that we're putting together here for the future. What we're going to need, all of us, because whatever happens in D.C. right now, tomorrow and the following days, whatever happens, we know that things are going to be difficult, harder, uh, more troubling. And people are going how, to how feel really like know that? they uh, like how can you really understand they're going that to feel like they is. have no place to go they're going to feel like they can't speak because you won't be able to the dividing lines are so great uh, you know i remember a couple of years back yeah i i did a video the line's been drawn in the sand it's been drawn that's where we're at that line has no question been drawn in the sand and that separation has taken place but what is and he was talking about something that you can't predict any, like, there's, that's why he doesn't set a date. No man knows the day or the hour. He's telling you to, I heard, I mean, I heard you say, I forget who I'm talking to. Derek, I heard you say that, uh, don't go to sleep or stay awake. And then I also heard you say, you, um, to a higher level. Of love. I love you all very much. Going to a higher level. See you tomorrow. You're going to see who tomorrow. Bring you um, to a higher level of love. I love you all very much, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Who, who are you talking about? Where are you going to be at tomorrow? Allow those that are in this truth with you, allow those that are living within this gospel with you, allow them to refresh you and to bring you um, to a higher level of love. I love you all very much, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. That makes me feel like something major is going to happen tomorrow. Just just by just by that alone. I, I wasn't even thinking about... I'm just thinking tomorrow, Donald Trump is going to... He's going to reveal some things about... Joe Biden and the voting system and he's going to be in D.C. What's the big deal? Like what, what is the big deal tomorrow? That What is Trump going to reveal? Is that even what it is? Is it going to be like a court ha hearing or something? Like what exactly is it that they're going to be discussing and why is it that when the so today's the fifth, fifteen more days.
until the inauguration. 15, 14 days before the inauguration. So you got two weeks exactly. And more things have to stir up. It's Trump's halfway point on the 20th. That'll be his exact four years being cut off halfway through. He already has his wounded head because of the political system that he lost. But tomorrow, well, I mean, take a guess. What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? I think that Trump is going to show an overwhelming amount of evidence and proof that how the election happened, it was exactly what he said it was. He found that there was some kind of major fraud that happened, and there's proof of it. But there's nothing you can do about it, because Biden's still going to take office, regardless. Biden still gets into office. So what Trump does tomorrow... Then I heard you talking, Derek, about Christ saying that not one stone will be turned upon another. And he's talking about when you see it, when you see it happen spiritually, then there's a delay that happens physically. When that spirit takes over spiritually, you'll see it manifest in the world physically. So if you start seeing some buildings being turned upon one another, like you did on Christmas Day, and if you start seeing that tomorrow, if you happen to see it in, in the area of Philadelphia, then if you see anything happen in Philadelphia, then, you know, the buildings that I, that I've seen in this, uh, I can't call it a vision. It's a, it's a guess, a guess window. I have a window that I, I guess a bunch of things in from what I take, from what people say on the YouTube platform that I feel like have inside knowledge of everything that's going on. And so I'll take the, those words that I hear. Just, I, it's just a word. And that word leads into conspiracy theories. So my conspiracy theory is about being taken to a higher level. You could be sitting in your you could be sitting right in your chair right like this tomorrow all day. You could be sitting here all day tomorrow and you could be taken to a higher level. That's if you're seen tomorrow. Doesn't Trump have to start a war or something before Joe Biden gets into office in order for him to stay? Wouldn't that be a coup attempt inside coup? If, if he creates a war right before the election, then he takes the kingdom by force. But that's only with a war, which, which means some missiles or something would have to hit over in Philadelphia, hit those buildings at uh, Liberty 1 and Liberty 2, like in that area, or 70 JFK. But it might not have anything to do with anything at all other than what we're going to see tomorrow is as the world turns in the political realm. But if Trump starts a war before the election, then I believe that kind of, does that like exclude Joe Biden because it's, he's now a war president, so he has to continue to take over? But if he doesn't start a war and he lets Joe Biden just get in, then whole, the script that I've seen was he'll be blamed for the assassination attempt when it's lights out for Joe Biden 
And because Trump already got the wounded head with the political realm of losing, Joe Biden has to get the fit, the physical, like you got to see his wounded head somewhere. Matter of fact, he already showed, I already showed you his wounded head where a while back, Joe Biden had a, like a, I don't know if he fell on a bicycle or something, but he looked like he had a wounded head. It was probably like nine months ago. I'm not going to be able to find it. So it was about maybe maybe last year, but he had this like a bullet. It looked like a bullet wound on his head. So he still has to get because I'm trying to remember all the all the conspiracy theories that I had before, and I made record of it. I just don't feel like going back to the videos today. I don't feel like doing it. It's too much work. But I'll just recap on on the, the script that way because sometimes I can't even get past last month's videos on the computer it just stops like I don't even have any more videos I can go go to but Biden I still see it as him getting into office and if anything something would happen tomorrow that would create the war that would get the war rolling get it started But as Biden gets in office, I heard Donald Trump say before that after three weeks, come on Kamala, Joe Biden's shot. And I took that as, as in when Joe Biden gets into office, after three weeks he's going to get shot. And then Kamala takes over. Uh, but Kamala is the one that is supposed to be looked at as the Antichrist after Biden gets taken out like comatose. But then right after right after uh, Joe Biden gets in and like three days or so, at least three days after, then Kamala gets taken out because she gets destroyed because then the, the script would be that at least again, if I was writing a script for the world, as the as Trump playing out playing out Christ but also can play out the Antichrist depending on how your interpretation is of him I see him as having the Christ spirit that he knows uh, but from before he's he develops and plays into his role like all the all the characters that are that are playing characters in the Bible you you become the characters for real. Like when all the things that you're saying, it actually comes to life. Trump would get back into office and continue on. And Biden would be getting, he would be considered the Christ because he died. But you might even hear that he rose up again. You might hear rumors about it. Because when I thought Trump was going to die and fall from the airplane and crash, then, I mean, if that happened, then he would be playing the Christ role and Joe Biden would be playing that and he would be blamed. Then Joe Biden would be blamed for his airplane crashing and sabotage. Joe Biden, Obama, Obama, Biden. Either way, you'll never get a straight answer, and it'll always be a thousand different reasons as to what could have possibly happened. So as I just think these things out loud, getting ready for something, don't know exactly what it is, but or what day or hour or time frame, But there has to be some kind of major shaking, stirring up in the political realm and something that causes destruction with buildings. Because on Christmas Day, 
there was a major destruction of buildings down an entire block. They, they showed you how they can level an entire block without even hurting anybody. Nobody dying and except for the person that, well he did die because when you signed away your soul you die with the deal that you made for for this or or you're just an actor and you're part of it there's a party coming up real soon somebody's the guest of honor as this happens either way when Biden gets in there's there's going to be exchanging of gifts to one another for three and a half days because Trump is Trump is dead like in the streets. I mean he's just dead because that once he once he's cut off halfway, he's considered dead in the street. But after three days or some change, the breath of life enters back into the people. Uh, but that's either prior to the twenty one days of Daniel or after the twenty one days. Because Joe Biden gets 21 days. That's that's my timeline for Joe Biden. There. 21 days. Over, under, it's 21. Kamala, four days. Four days. And then Trump gets back in. And he continues on. And he starts to let our people go. So before it happens tomorrow, and if nothing happens whatsoever... I'm just a false prophet like usual, but I have no problem saying my predictions beforehand. Not really a prediction, it's per se. It's more like a just-in-case type of a... I want to I mention what my predictions were before, and we're getting closer to the, to the inauguration. I heard Tyler Mullen talking about his vision that... I mean, his dream that that he had written down on paper to say what he dreamt, dreamt up about Trump. And it was something about how he was coming in and getting, coming back, not or so, or so or so. But I said before that Trump would, was going to not win, but he initially will lose. Joe Biden wins. Trump is going to lose. But I'm still going to vote for him anyway. Even knowing that. Knowing that as the world does turn in the in the uh, soap opera world, that he will come back into play, and he will prove that the elections were rigged, and but he'll also be blamed for the assassination of Joe Biden, and then Kamala when she comes in too, because even though it's maybe it'll maybe it'll be a coronavirus attached to it with a wounded head. For Joe Biden and then Kamala but either way Trump Trump is being looked at as the the gangster mafia guy that offs people if they take because they cheated they definitely cheated but the information you're gonna get I think tomorrow will be about such concrete evidence that he cheated it's just but there's nothing you can do about it and then he still becomes president and that's why after three weeks, Trump's like, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right, yep, you, you wait. You wait until I throw those eggs at you, Robin. You wait. I'm going to throw them. I, I, I will. That brings me back to Justin and the, the fear tactics. Now, I may experience, I may be creating my own experience, but I'm not afraid to say it. Because I do understand that there is a scare tactic, uh, fear, spirit that is transferred to people. I've, I've experienced this through my YouTube channel for these past three years, three years and almost ten months, or maybe nine months. And it's just, it's just that thing where maybe I will experience it, and but I won't experience it as I'm able to speak about it. I'll experience it when this is shut down and I can't say anything. And then I'll just be experiencing it in my life. The, 
you know, the, the promises. And the reason why I would think that he would say that thing about throwing eggs at my truck at that time is because, not only because he works for the inside, but because the time is short and it's, it's time to ratchet everything down and create as much fear as possible because that is what that is what his job is to do you guys have a job to do it's to create fear in the people it's to be devils it's to to try to get people to worry about stuff and as things get worse and worse i know that when you're when you have connections from the inside to be able to do that because over as many times I talked to Justin on the phone, explaining his experiences at the restaurant and how he's, you know, he just made a text message to like 10 different people and kind of made the guys like a little, little miserable, but did he deserve it? That's the key. Did the guy deserve at when it Red Robins that if he even, if anybody even worked there and if it wasn't just a story made up? But either way, to make some make someone's life difficult because they're trying to make people's lives difficult it's that eye for an eye tooth for a tooth mentality so you're going to create that that thing you that's what that spirit does it creates the environment to uh to be able to try to get somebody to look in the mirror i do it a slightly different way but the end result is look in the mirror For people that deserve to get eggs thrown at their vehicle for uh, being like a horrible boss to people, I understand that part to make their lives as difficult as they're making other people's lives. That's an eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. But you really got to do something dirty to deserve to get eggs thrown at your vehicle. And the reason why I'll even talk about it is because I'm waiting for the eggs to hit my truck. Not that I really am waiting, but as I'm talking now, I'm waiting for the for the first egg to hit and be like, all right, all right, Justin, all right, all right, I, all right, I see where you're at. And if not, then I, I'll see where you're at. But if I don't say anything, I'm not going to be able to see where he's at. Because when you hide in the dark and shifty shadows, you, you see, sort of, but... And again, there's people higher up that have the strings. They're higher up. They have the ability. They can do... They can make you do whatever, and they can make people feel very desperate. And plus, it's exciting. It's the hour of darkness for those that are ready to create darkness. But you have a king over you. The angel of the bottomless pit, the scorpion king. Satan, you have Satan over you. He, Satan is your boss. You can't do anything unless Satan gives you the okay to do it. Whether it's through his top commanders, chiefs, or whoever is right above the person that has the command. They're getting ready to go. Maybe you're promised that you can just unload. And maybe it'll get even worse than that. Complete destruction of everything. And I'm homeless and broke and hungry all by design but that's Satan's call apparently because whatever Satan wants to do Satan will do the ones that are in charge of the planet there's you can't I can't stop anybody from doing anything now, I just want to make this clear if I was ever, if I was ever given a, posi a high position in, I wouldn't even call it the government, I would just call it in, the, in the, the ability to help create the world to 
be a better place to live in, whichever world that'll be. I'm not looking to be second in charge, first in charge, third, fourth, fifth. If my spirit can resonate with the people that run this planet, then great. Because that's apparently why I started speaking on this platform. Is to get the attention of somebody that runs this planet so they can rethink of the things that they're doing. And that's all I want to do. And whatever title you want to give me, whatever. Whatever title you want to have, keep it. Titles are just to try to divide what things are. If my spirit can resonate with with one person that's in the highest position, then that's perfect. And I'll ride that wave of positive energy. But all I can do is try to influence the people that have say in everything. And it's not like this is wasn't something designed in order to in order to like you ha you have a million different people and you're looking for the ones that are telling the truth. So you have this platform, you you have a bunch of money, you you offer this so that you you offer everything to everybody just to read your script. Even if it's a lie, don't worry about it. You I had a dream I didn't dream like it. Derek, I didn't have a dream. Just it doesn't matter. Just you like your money, don't you? Just read it. And then you read your script. And and people are continually doing that. Because they they like this lifestyle. They don't think this lifestyle is really gonna stop. It's just people like me are gonna shut up and they're just gonna kick me to the side. So if Derek wants you to throw eggs at my truck, then you're going to throw eggs at my truck. If Derek doesn't want you to throw eggs at my truck, like if I'm supposed to be stung by scorpions, why would God sting his own people? It's like, what, Robin, will you stop, stop stinging me? Cut it out, idiot. Oh, I like it. Because it doesn't make sense. You don't sting your own people. And you would have discernment to know that. So if eggs get thrown at my, my vehicle, then Derek approves of it. And that's what's supposed to happen. And maybe I'm supposed to learn something from it. Like where your ranking is. If I don't see eggs hitting my truck in the next few days, or even when you get to Philly in the 14th, or maybe even after that, I think I'm supposed to drive back and forth to work. If I don't see eggs being thrown at my truck, then I'm gonna know where your ranking is, and I'm just calling your, I'm calling your, your, your bluff. I'm calling, pull your cart, because I'm, I've heard this voice before. I've heard these threats before, and even if it follows through with it, who the hell cares? Just keep coming with more, as much fear as possible, because that's what needs to happen. But if you can't provide the fear then I'm calling your card and I'm calling your bluff and I'm going to say that uh, Derek didn't give you the, uh, the approval to to unleash but maybe maybe you will because you've been given the authority to do so but that's the authority that is short-lived and I'll experience everything that I created because I could have just kept my mouth shut and not say anything but I don't even like that because I don't even like the fact that it was it was put out there to try to instill fear. So this fear that you're supposed to instill, I would like to just bring it back and then bring it to the forefront and say, here, here's this fear that you're trying to put in my direction. Because I know that when you're part of the gang stock corporation, you can do things. It's not like I'm stupid. And you can't have the ability to do things, but you also have a commander over you. And can you do things over your boss's head? Can you, when you swear to secrecy, can you tell the truth? So if you're, so if you're saying something that you're going to do, 
can you actually do it and tell the truth? Or is it something that you can only say and just see where it, see where it gets you? Like, this is a word battle. This is a spiritual warfare. This isn't about laying physical hands on somebody or damaging things or their property. It's about, do you believe it? And if you believe it, does that is it going to bother you? Is it going to make you worry? Because this is what... I've tried to help people eliminate these demons that they try to instill demonic thoughts into your head of fear. And, you know, it can work. It has worked in the past. And it, it is working throughout all humanity with this, this thing. It's working. It's because of a thought that they heard. You might feel like you're being attacked physically, but it's just mental. And then even if they have to follow through with, with what they... Then you egg them on to do it. Which means you have more control over them as well. So either way, it's a win-win. Either do it, show your ranking, or don't do it and show your ranking. But with threats... See, I'd rather just... Like, who... If anybody's going to threaten somebody, why would you threaten somebody? Why wouldn't you just do the things in secret? Well, because the answer is when you threaten people out loud in public, then it gives you more of a of an or, the, the evil or that you're looking for. But when it backfires, then what was the point of saying it? But if you full, if you follow through with it, well, then I'll start to see your ranking. And again, it's just eggs. It's just a vehicle. It ain't like we're going to be able to really do much anyway. Because you're going to need to get jabbed. Like, they're going to be taking jabs at you. And why would it be kids? Why would you predict that kids would be throwing eggs at my vehicle? Aren't, isn't that like... Corrupting minors. I mean, isn't that what that is? Like, you can't get adults to do it. You got to get kids to do it. Oh, man. I guess we're all going to find out the truth soon as to what's really going to happen. And I just say bring it. Bring it with all the threats that just follow through with the threats. I I never seen that train wreck from your dad, Justin. Your, I mean, your uh your brother. I mean, Steve, you're his... Are you Justin's dad? Or are you his brother? Or are you his brothers? Because we're all brothers, regardless. You guys didn't like me from the gate, but you learn to love me now. Uh, but Justin, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I've been thinking about that new look, though. The, the black and yellow look. Just let it stay on there and sizzle in the sun, the eggs. 